Okay, this is the Lamar CSD fifth six weeks test review. Quadratic and exponential functions. Okay, so we're given that this is our equation. What's the vertex? Remember in vertex form, it's a parentheses x minus h squared plus k and h comma k is our vertex. So the opposite of h is our h, and the k is going to be our y, so h comma k. The opposite of negative 2 is a positive 2, and the negative 1 is going to be our y. So 2, negative 1 would be our vertex. Okay, and we're going to convert this to standard. This should be a second power right here. So we got to do x minus 2 squared. x minus 2 is squared is x minus 2 times x minus 2. And if you work that out, you get x squared minus 4x plus 4. Remember, you got to do the full method, right? You'll have negative 2x, negative 2x, giving you the negative 4. So over here, we're going to have 1 half parentheses x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 1. Then we're going to distribute the 1 half. So let's do it over here. 1 half x squared minus 2x plus 2 minus 1. Now I can group the 2 and the 1, and I'm going to get 1 half x squared minus 2x plus 1. So this parabola and this parabola would graph the same thing. Okay. This right here would be our y-intercept. Okay, so on our graph, we know we're going to go from 0 to 4. We know the y-intercept's 1. If we plug in 1, let's plug in a 1 right here. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is a positive 1. 1 times a half is a half. 1 half minus 1 is a negative half. So this will be negative 1 half and negative 1 half. And this 4 will be a 1. You could also get these numbers by doing control T, right? <coughs> now then the zeros of the parabola aren't on here. And I need a calculator for that. Okay. So... So where was I? Right here, let's graph these. So we have 0, 1, and then 1, negative 1 half. Then right here, and right here. So our parabola is going to look like that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the y-intercept of the parabola is 1. The max or the min of the parabola, this right here is our minimum. So the max or the min, we have a minimum. The minimum is negative 1. The range is y is greater than our minimum. The domain is going to be all real numbers. The axis of symmetry is x equal 2. And now I need to find the zeros. I'll be back. I'll get the zeros on the next one. Let me go get my calculator. Okay, so to get this on the calculator, sorry about that, we're going to type in, let's type in this one. Let's do 0.5x squared and then minus 2x plus 1. Hit enter. Okay, so we have our parabola. Now then we're going to hit menu, 5 one for graph trace. We're going to go down. There is our zero. And the zero is, what does it say? 0.586. So 0.586 would be the zero. It's going to be 0.586 is one of them. And let's keep tracing to the right to get the other one. There's the other zero. And it's 3.41, 3.41. So our two zeros are 5.86 and 3.14. Remember, you just trace and get those zeros. 
So right here would be 5.586, and right here would be 3.41. Those would be the two zeros.